Today I wanna talk about how to correctly mix and master your beats. Yo yo sakafe sakafe welcome back to another video and the last bit review that i made i see that many of you don't really know how to mix and master your beat i wanna help with that to make everything easier i bring the last bit that i made and upload on my instrumental channel i will put the link in the description box it's a decent mix i will show you everything that i did and why so if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe for good videos live stream mixing beat making and more now Let's have some fun. I start my mixing process as soon as I start making my beat. The method that I use is pretty simple. You only need to know five steps to achieve this kind of nice, clean and hard mix on your beat. So, uh, first of all, you will need to pick great sound, use good plugin. And after that, you will need to spend more time at your leveling process the leveling is pretty important it's really really important and after that you you will need to add some effect like eq to remove unwanted frequencies add delay add reverb add chorus and add distortion and if needed so and after that don't do too much that is pretty important use your hair and don't overthink in your master feeder, you can use a limiter, a clipper, or a maximizer. Me, I prefer the maximizer. And after that, you will need a meter. Now, guys, let's just listen to the beat. <laughs> Sammy on the beat. Sammy on the beat. Sammy. Purchase your tracks today. So yeah, this is this guy. This is nice mix. So let's start with um Let's talk about the sound selection. For the plugin that I use, I use um, a Labs by Spitfire. It's a pretty good plugin. And then also I use Xpand. Xpand, I always recommend Xpand for beginner. That is one of the best plugins that you can find at this price. Sometimes they give discount for, for like $4 nine dollars so you can check it out guys it's a pretty good damn plugin so uh let's solo only the melodies let's go on the chorus so on the key i just cut the low and then play with the stereo effect so it can be more larger, more more full, sound like full. And for the pad, uh, I cut some of the low, I filter some of the low, some of the high, so it can sound like that. It's smoother, nicer. And then for the brass, I've come across it as distortion, and then I cut some of the low rim of the low and then add some 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 high like some hair so you can have this brilliance and after that i load flutzy converter as a reverb it's a pretty good reverb and after i use the fs fl studio delay to it flutzy delay to it i use the ping pong and then hard pen left and i select the one one four for the delay time and then we're good and then for our soft lead 
I will move bus frequencies and after that I add the pancake so we can modulate this panning stereo panning effect. You can feel it. And then for the bass is it's from my new drum kit uh fire is a sub bass it's pretty good damn bro uh on the bonus folder this is this is the one and now let's go to the drum or the drum also from this drum kit you can see that they are high quality. I I don't do anything on them. So for the main for the main pattern, I use I use the drum on the um FL FVC. See they sound nice, clean. You see when you have high quality drum, the job is done. I add nothing, like nothing, cause they are already mixed. I mix them, so when you when you put them in your beat, you don't really have have to worry about mixing, mastering. You can just do sound design if you wanna achieve some kind of sound, you know. But they are already mixed and ready to go. So now, if you add this up. So this is it. Uh, and for the voc workshop, uh, I use some vocal shop from Splice. Okay, this is where they come. The first one come right here. This one from Contact. Okay, it's a, a Exal. This one have the fruity convolver on it. Yeah, this big reverb. Yeah, let's make it sound cool. That is for the verse. And then after that, in the pre-chorus. I find this one on Splice. And then, um, this one is so... <laughs> This one is so cool. I find this choir and I and I say, wow, I have to put this one in the beat. Ah, let me see, let me let me play it. Where's my choir? When you have all the vocal and And I add this one at the beginning of the of the of the other bars. I think this one I add I add a delay on it. Or oh, is it? Um, why is this one? I think I add a delay on it. Nineteen. I add nothing. Oh, it, it comes with the delay. So you can listen to the transition. And this omni swap we said about this, about this, because I don't really want one only on my system always one and if i'm if i'm out i don't have my external drive i can have this bounce already you know 
and when i say don't overthink don't do too much this is what i'm talking about you can see that many so many of of my track don't have any effect and for the other one i just add the effect that needed to add i don't add effect because i think okay i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add that because add that because i because i see other producers do this other producers do that now you select your sound and when you when you finish the the sound selection you take your time at the leveling that is really important and for the effect you just add what need to add that's really important and then use your hair use your hair that's that's the big thing you have to train your hair also listen to good good music uh not only listening to hit music so go go grab some nice song some some song that you know that's all mixing really good or mix good and then just listen to them and train your hair and after that on my master feather i don't that add too much i just add come a there then you have a preset that called Sobo Master. It's a pretty good preset. Let me show you. Uh, if I remove all of that, and then without camera kosher. with camera kosher. Me, I prefer using a. Uh, maximizer uh i don't really like using limiter or clipper I, I i like this i like this maximizer it's so pretty well for me and then after that i have my bx meter that tell me what is the level of my mix This is it. I hope you learned something. Having a good beat and a good mix that everything that you need to go to the next level. So, um, yeah. And if you have question, leave a comment or just DM me. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Or you can connect it with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Sammy Beats. See you guys in the next video. Bow!